Alrighty. Resident Evil Zero. Oh, Capcom. Resident Evil Zero. The thing with the, a bunch of these like ne next gen remasters is it takes longer to save and load them than it did in the original. Watching what, Spoopy? Is it a waste of time if you're having fun? PlayStation Store, what are extras? Manual? I don't need the manual. What's the gallery? This is my first time booting this up. I've beaten the game many times before on the GameCube, but... Okay, apparently I have nothing in my gallery. Options? Display. Wide, of course. Audio. That's probably okay. The same mode. Midnight? What is midnight settings? Controls. I'll just go with the standard. I assume you can control them in the middle, middle of the game. You never want the brightness to be as low as they tell you to on these games. So I think that's probably fine. Language. I do want my subtitles on. Okay, those are just like I want them. Alright, new game. I'm going to shut up all the cutscene plays. Maybe not entirely, though. Ooh, let's start on normal. Resident Evil Zero. We already talked about this. So this is a prequel, by the way, in case you didn't know, to every Resident Evil. Raccoon City, a solitary island far off in the sea. Rockford Island, an island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise Umbrella was somehow involved, little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And Seems like something like that would need to be public record. Created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. Hmm. Welcome so aboard too? the Excess yeah. Express. Technically, there are two games on my channel right now where characters like this sing opera. Or villains, even. It began as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Engine failure! Emergency landing!
Check the current position and investigate the surrounding area. Deja vu. Captain, look. Transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex lieutenant, 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoner is to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone, let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. The Eclectic Express. The door to safety is shut. There is no turning back. <laughs> okay. So. Looks like we are in the train, which is the first full area. Let's see here. How do I open my menu? There's the pause menu. Square is menu, that's all. I would have figured it would have been triangle. Let's see. Maps. Right, the that. Files. I know how to play already. Court order for transportation. 1598. Don't. Where are you going, Josh? Yeah, I wish you could have too, Luke. I was wondering about your live stream. I was like, I hope his is at a different time than mine, because I was hoping that I would be able to watch yours, but oh well. Oh, Josh is saying bye to Luke. Okay. We'll miss you, Luke. I'm sad you couldn't stay around longer. All right, prisoner name, Billy Cohen, ID number D1036, former second lieutenant, Marine Corps, age 26, Height five foot nine. Wow, he looks taller than that. Uh, weight one hundred sixty three pounds. <laughs> of pure muscle. He has to weigh more than that, as bulky as he is. Although he is, if he is five nine, then I guess that makes sense. Ragathon base. Convicted of first degree murder. Uh, court martialed and sentenced to death by the zero seven three R D military tribunal. This to be carried out upon arrival. Samuel Reagan, Commander, Dunnell Marine Base. All right, so we also have Rebecca's portrait there. It looks kind of weird. A handgun and handgun ammo. Standard equipment for stars, officers. It uses 9mm Pellebrellum rounds. Next time, Luke. Let me get adjusted to the controls again. What is... Okay, L2 is map. Alrighty. Let's go this way. I'm assuming this is train car number three. This is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo Team. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? The government has announced that zombie. We don't want to mess with him. 
Alright, I've shot him down, and now I need to get out of here. Whew. See, I thought that you started with a first aid spray. Or maybe that's an easy mode description. I wonder if you could remap the buttons, because I really need menu triangle to be my menu button. The rain outside is quickly turning into a downpour. And getting the whole interior wet here, apparently. By the way, if you kill all the zombies in that previous room, you actually get an extra scene. It just takes way too many bullets. Ugh. Alright. Let's see. Which way? It has been a long time since I've played this game, by the way. I think I want to go in cabin 202, which is this one, I think. Yes. What are you going to be streaming, Luke? I don't think I'll have time to tune in later, but uh, I think that... Because, I mean, we're planning on keep going even after Corey gets here, but if I can, I'll try to tune in. There doesn't seem to be anything of use. Oh, a file. The passenger's Diary. July 14th. Orders came from the boss today. Looks like we're in charge of investigating the remains of the Arclay Mountains. Arclay Mountains Laboratory. We're moving in two groups. The initial group is assigned to start checking what's left of the abandoned experiment. July 16th. Unfortunately, the test production of BOW, type Y139, had to be suspended because of this investigation. Hi, Oleg Gaming. Thanks for joining. Uh, I forget which BOW, by the way, BOWs are their monsters. I forget which type Y139 is. If this, It's the same with type Y139. There's still so much we don't know about responses to the crustacean T-virus. Oh, it's talking about the first boss. There's a lot of interesting research left. Depending on the species and nurturing conditions, only minute doses of tea bring about remarkable changes in solidity, size, multiplication of internal toxins, and brain development. If these effects can be controlled, a powerful weapon can be produced. But the sudden development of the shell results in a corresponding fragility. Certain areas become exceedingly weak. Problematically, one of these areas is the head carapace. <laughs> AK, we're already learning how we're going to beat the first boss. <laughs> Shoot it in the head. This lab we are going to. Were they pursuing the same research? It would certainly help to find data and samples that would help us in our research. June 19th. Well, this is a long file. The day is finally approaching. I'm growing more anxious. Raccoon City newspapers and TV stations are full of reports about the bizarre murders in the suburbs. It can't be the virus, can it? If it is. No, I can't think of that now. I have to concentrate on this investigation and make sure it goes smoothly. You got the passenger's diary. By the way, I noticed that it never gave me an option to change outfits for Rebecca. So I don't know when you get to do that, because in Resident Evil 1 HD, you have got to choose between two different outfits even before you would unlock anything. So maybe that's not the case this time. Hold on, I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. Did that help at all? Maybe a little bit. Wait, no, I want to angle it more down, don't I? Wait, no. If I just scoot back a little bit. All right. I'll take those bullets, please. This poor guy must have been attacked in his sleep. His body is covered in slime. That's uh, reassuring. It's a finely tailored suit. There's nothing in the pockets. I feel like there is should be one other thing somewhere in here. Unless it's not here in normal mode. The rain is beating fiercely against the window. You wonder how long it will last. <laughs> you make me sound like a bad person, Spoopy. Of course I could do that. I don't even play video games every day, usually. I've been doing it more since Corey came into the picture, because that's what we do for fun. But before that, it had been a while. There's the ink ribbons. Couldn't even see it. Was it sparkling? Alright. So I've got what I came in here for. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I actually wanted to leave. Wait, no I didn't. Alright, let's go in cabin 201 now. Thanks, Thomas. 
I'm not gay either. I'm uh, bisexual. Not that it really matters. Might as well be gay for all that really matters. There doesn't seem to be anything of use. All right, hey, more ink ribbons. I like the save room themes in these games. Take this green herb. Which herbs are used for healing. Investigation orders. Stained with blood. Now, the reason I wanted to use different outfits is to make my, the string sort of unique. I don't want it to be so vanilla, you know? <laughs> Stained with blood. Some sections are illegible. Eight miles north of Raccoon City, in the Arclay Mountains, lies our company's, company's management training facility. It was shut down years ago. Seems like some of these uh, vowels are missing. Now we are conducting a preliminary study into the reopening of the facilities. First investigation unit is already on site and opening the investigation. I want your team to provide support. The following orders are for William, I thought that would say William Bar Birkin, but it's spelled wrong, and investigative unit. The rest is torn and unreadable. Oh well. All right, so let's go ahead and save. Typical Resident Evil fashion, use ink ribbons to save at the typewriters. Somebody just texted me. I just got invited to go downtown with friends, but I've committed to you guys. Anyway, so one thing that's different about this Resident Evil from past Resident Evils is, first of all, that the menu button is located at the square, but uh, you can actually, there are no item boxes, so you're relegated to item management by leaving them on the floor. As you can see, wait, where'd they go? I can't even see them. Did I just like leave them right off screen or something? Anyway, so let's, what was I going to do? Oh, I was going to show you on the map. You can see it shows you items that you've picked up or examined already and where, what room they're in, which is actually pretty neat. The only time this system gets annoying is when you're trying to move from one area to another, like a point of no return, and you got to make sure all your valuables are like nearby, so you got to bring it all back. No, I don't really care about Rocket League that much. It's just a video game. I'd rather save lives. Which, by the way, I think they recently discovered some kind of bacteria or something that focuses on cancer. How many 5Ks did we have to run for that? Alright, we're done in cabin 201. So let's head onward. Can I examine anything in this hole? Luggage lies strewn about the cabin. It always bothered me that you couldn't get through that door. Well, I guess it's opening into some kind of luggage compartment. Alright. Uh, what's back here? Oh, that's lovely. It's locked. There's a card reader here. It looks like the door will open if you have the right card. Do you have the card? This train employee's corpse has been brutally torn apart. He's holding something. I guess I will take the train key. Billy. Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? You're the prisoner that was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, I see. You're with stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around. So, I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait! 
You're under arrest. No thanks, Dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. Edward! Are you Why would you jump through a train happened? window? Isn't that too high? Okay, doggy time. Ow! Ah, shit. Oh, jeez. Do I have eye wing turned on? Yeah, the key is to try to shoot him down. I took a little bit of damage there. Combine. I'm still fine though. Okay. Now that the uh, Cerberi are taken care of, Cerberuses, Cerberi, let's head over to. By the way, that Eddie guy that... Edward, you were so happy just a few hours ago. He's holding something. Yeah, the voice... The vo I knew the voice acting was bad, but it's a little bit worse than I remember, honestly. Ugh. Neck's kind of sore. I have the T-Virus, guys. Okay. So... We have the... What do we have now? Man, I hate the menu button being on the square. I didn't want to combine that. The tag reads dining car, so we have the dining car key. Alright, we have to go back this way now. And... We want to just try to, like, slowly get any zombies that are out of our way here. Like this one, I can easily dodge. Oh. Where's my defense items? Alright, this is where I want to be. I really didn't want to waste all my bullets on This is the zombie you want to kill because he can actually move between train cars. Did I kill him? Yeah, I killed all three. So what you would normally want to do there is just like knock the dodge the zombies and knock them around. But I got unlucky because the conductor zombie ended up at the back of the group there. Might as well go ahead and use this green herb because I'm in orange caution now. And it clears up an item space. Alrighty, so let's, what's this? Through the window you see a broken ladder. That's true, Josh. It's of no use right now. But later. Alright, we'll go upstairs later, but for now let's go through this door. Wait a minute, actually. This is Rebecca, over. Enrico! Hello! Can you read me? Please respond. Rebecca, I can hear you. Now listen up. We've obtained detailed information on the fugitive from a document found in the wrecked wagon. Billy Cullen killed as many as 23 people. Over. 23 people? We have also confirmed that he was institutionalized, so keep your guard up. Can you hear me, Rebecca? Over.
All right, I need to go back through here because I actually missed something in the previous car that I forgot about. Just need to go up here, even though I said we totally didn't need to go up there. And, oh, what are these? They look like some kind of eggs. A puddle of slime has formed around them. That's great. I'm sure it's fine. I'll take the green herb. And that's really all I came up for here for. Because I figured I'll probably need it pretty shortly. Now we can go through here. Now we really just want to like run straight through here and not worry about any uh, thing that decides to come to life. So we got lucky that time. Use the dining car key. You don't seem to need this key anymore. Throw it away. Uh, yes, I do want to throw it away because it'll never come in handy again. I mean, technically you could just leave it on the ground, but... going to be dangerous from here on in. Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Listen, little girl, if you haven't noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train. And I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. All right, miss do-it-yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? That's Officer Chambers to you. Alright, notice to supervisors. When closing the dining car, supervisors are asked to switch off the automatic doors after ensuring all staff have vacated the cars. The main automatic door power switch is located on the roof of the fifth car. Guess where we have to go. <laughs> inspections will take place when the train is garaged. Did that say garaged? Yep. Yeah. After inspections are complete, use the ladder at the rear of the second floor of the dining car. Umbrella Corps, maintenance department. So that's basically telling us how we should handle this. Alrighty. Can I talk to you? Well then, Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? Did they even say what they were trying to do? Anyway, uh, let's go upstairs. Train cars on fire. Um, excuse me, sir. Sir. So this is a Mimicry Marcus, also known as a Leech Man. As you can see, they have an extremely good reach. I can't believe I let them get a hit in. You could shoot them, but that's just a waste of time and bullets. It possibly help. That would be so gross. And how do you know that bullet wasn't going to go through one of those leeches? And why did all the leeches fall as soon as one leech took a bullet? Billy is a muscle god. If he didn't have that mangy ass long hair. Are you okay?
There's Eve's brother. Who is that guy? What's going on? Who's controlling the train? Go and That's check out the first engine car. Listen, we've got to cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't... Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. All right. But you just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these with you. If you find anything, give me a call, all right? Oh, I just noticed that the, uh, the freaking uh, loading thing is a circle of leeches. That's pretty awesome. So, yeah, the main gimmick of this game is you can control both characters at once, kind of. It's kind of like a Mario and Luigi game if it was Resident Evil and Mario and Luigi get separated any time. Um, you can switch control between the two lead characters, Rebecca and Billy, and use their different abilities to progress through the game. Main character, partner character. Let's see, I need to know the new controls. You can use the right stick to control your partner character. Um, you can assign specific paradigms or gambits to your partner character. <clears throat> Solo means both characters move independently. Team means the partner follows the main character. Attack, the partner attacks automatically. Idle, the partner will not attack. You can also press the touch screen to switch between solo and team behavior. Switching characters. Press triangle at the status screen to switch characters. You will need to switch characters in order to progress in certain situations. Uh, you can exchange items between the characters. See, Rebecca can combine herbs. She has a weak defense and she can combine chemicals. Billy cannot combine herbs. He has a strong offense. It shouldn't matter. A gun's a gun, isn't it? And he can push heavy objects. Um, if one character dies, it's no matter. It's an automatic game over. If you leave a partner in a dangerous area, you'll get radioed. Uh, if your partner does call, go to help as quickly as possible. And some puzzles cannot be solved by only one character. You'll need both. Yeah. Um, yeah. What I was, Josh. I think I actually tweeted you about it. Uh, I am trying not to get too excited after seeing what they've done with the Mario RPG series with Paper Jam and um, uh, Sticker Star where they're limited it to very like uh, cookie cutter stories with like, you know, Bowser's the main villain. It doesn't get any more complicated than that. Um, and only using like original, not original, uh, classic Mario characters, main series characters. All right, so... I'm controlling both of my characters right now. Okay, sorry. What's in here? It's locked from the other side. I want to say that's where the um, computer or the costumes are now that I think about it. Is it time for another green herb already? How do I? Here we go. Let's see. I actually want. Billy, you can attack, I guess. I want it to be a team, and I guess I will, I usually control Billy just because he's stronger and I can protect Rebecca better. And she automatically reloaded for me. And you can press triangle to switch between which character you're controlling, obviously. Oh, Billy has a knife, I forgot about that. I do want to take... Um, how do I switch? Wait, how do I s switch? Uh, exchange, here we go. I want to take most of her bullets off. Alrighty. <laughs> True. What's that uh, gun you could use to overload Emerald Weapon? I forget the name of it. Uh, well, different guns can be different powers, but, I mean, they both have the same gun, I think. 
Or do they? Let's see. Billy, what kind of gun do you have? A standard army issue gun. Handgun. Is everybody still there? Corey actually just asked me if you guys were being lively. I had to tell him no. He says, they better perk up when I get on there. One hour remaining. <laughs> Dawn of the third, fourth day. <laughs> Alright, is there anything else in here that I need? I don't think so. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to take all of Rebecca's bullets. Now that I think about it. Because otherwise, the computer has a bad habit of wasting all your ammo. So... Um... Gave all the. I think I want to. Sorry, I'm struggling with the controls here. I'm going to give this to Billy as well. And I'm gonna go solo. If I can figure out how. I'll go. Yeah. Oh, there we go. You have to press the touch screen. It told me that. Let's go downstairs. Now where am I? It looks like an automatic door. There's no power now, so it won't open. Did I do something wrong? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I know what I'm doing wrong. Come on, Billy. This is the chair where that monster was sitting. Did you finish your presentation, Thomas? Thanks for coming, Chris. Glad you could make it. <laughs> this is the PS4 controller. If it was a GameCube controller, I would know exactly what I'm doing since I've beaten this game several times. Originally on the GameCube. There's a ladder here. It seems to lead up to the roof. Let's climb the ladder. Now this part is cool. The graphics have not aged quite as well as I thought they would, but there are still some beautiful moments. This train is going hella fast, though. Hi, Safety. Thanks for coming. Have you ever played a Resident Evil game? Especially a uh, old Resident Evil game? AKA pre-Resident Evil 4? Power cable has been disconnected. Reconnect the cable? Sure, what's the worst that could happen? Safety, are you a subscriber or did you just find the stream? That would be disgusting. Okay. What's in here? Handgun. What's the presentation on, Thomas? Oh, okay. Well, I hope you enjoy, uh, Safi? Safi? Um, this is just my personal... Wait a minute. Uh, Safi, what is your favorite Resident Evil? The roof is caved in and now lies in pieces on the floor. It looks like it was destroyed by a powerful force from the outside. The service lift is stopped at the first floor. Call the service lift? Yes. Wait, no. We'll go into that in a minute. What is over here? 
train key. What did you think of the Resident Evil 1 uh, remake, assuming you've played it, Sappy? There's something written on the tag. Conductor room. So this is, must be the conductor's room key. I did not mean to switch. I like how Billy's just like chilling. <laughs> I didn't mean to switch though. There's something stuck in the keyhole. It's preventing the doorknob from turning. You could probably get it out if you had something sharp. You definitely should, especially if you like the original. If you like the Resident Evil series games, Safi, you are doing yourself a great disservice by not playing, especially the remake. The remake of the first Resident Evil is my favorite Resident Evil, and it is pro it's probably in my top ten games. Uh, then, then it's for me, it's Resident Evil 4, and then I like Resident Evil 0 better. I like all three of those better than two. Thanks, Josh. Oh, I think you've told me about that. Neuropsychology. Jeez. That sounds like you're going to be making some money once you finish, bro. Anyway, um... I think that I need to... So what you can do here is call up the service lift and use this to get items between Billy and Rebecca. So I'm going to put in this key, that way Billy can get the key and use it to get to the conductor's car. It's a really like kind of neat system. They immediately make you solve some puzzles, if you can consider this a puzzle. But yeah, uh, Safi, I love Resident Evil Zero and Resident Evil 1 Remake. I think that the old style graphics make it a little clunky for me to play the old ones now, but I've beaten... I've also beaten the original Resident Evil, the original Resident Evil 2. Can't wait for the remake. Um, I've beaten Nemesis. I have not beaten Code Veronica. I don't know why. It's not that I didn't like Code Veronica. You got this, Thomas. Anyway, we're done with Becca now. Alright, so we really don't need um, the knife. I did not mean to switch again. I do that all the time. So I'll leave the knife here. That sounds annoying. If I had gotten my master's in IT, I would have had to teach basic computing skills to uh, people, like how to send emails and how to open Microsoft Word. <laughs> All right, Billy. Give me. Oh, why did that open? Chris, uh, did you like RE5? Uh, so I think if you go back this way, yeah, here's the dumb waiter that you can transfer items between Rebecca and Billy for the time being. So I'll take this conductor's key. Actually, Thomas, yes, we finished Jessica Jones a couple nights ago. We both loved it, although I will say that I... I do wish I do think it should have ended a couple episodes sooner because they tr really draw, drew it out more than they needed to, uh, without being too spoilery. And the ending was kind of anticlimactic. But overall, I'd give the series an eight minus. The counter is laden with various types of food. It doesn't seem to be anything of use. It's an industrial-sized refrigerator. There's an access panel here. You need some kind of tool to open it. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so I think I'm going to actually switch back to Rebecca and see if I can't put some more useful shit in here. I also love the tank controls. I'm assuming that's Safi that posted that because I can't see it. Uh, I missed it. 
Yeah, and you can't make your messages too long or they get cut off, just so you know. Yeah, they did confirm a second season of Jessica Jones. Uh, Thomas, uh, no, Chris, uh, Chris, I did, I liked Resident Evil 5, I thought it was really fun, especially if you have someone playing with you, and even then I think it's fun, however, I do like, uh, all the Resident Evils before it a lot better, to me, that was the start of the downfall of Resident Evil, just because of how action-y it got. Send down this green herb. And that way I really can have that herb. I know this part is thrilling. So, if this looks interesting to you at all, Chris, you should probably check it out. These are how all the old Resident Evil games are. Although 4 is much better than 5. 4 is my second favorite Resident Evil, and it's not like this at all. After uh, Resident Evil 3 and Code Veronica was when they made the Resident Evil games more over the shoulder. I couldn't play Resident Evil 1 when it first... Resident Evil 1, the original, was actually my first PlayStation 1 game. And back then I was like, I don't even remember how old I was, but I was a little kid and it scared the shit out of me. I watched my dad play it all the time, though. And I read all the books. Um, when you say you haven't gotten into any of my current ones, Thomas, is it the games or you just haven't had the time? And now I'm going to give all my bullets to Billy. And now that I've gotten all of Becca's junk, I'm very excited. Oh, hi, uh, Merle Sea Vision. Don't know if I pronounced that right. I am very excited for the Resident Evil 2 remake. Have they said anything about when we should be expecting that? Because I have no idea. Because technically, the next game in the series, me and Corey have already played through Resident Evil 1 HD, and he liked it a lot. So next in the series is Resident Evil 2, and I was kind of hoping the remake would come out before we got to that. But if it's going to be a few years. Um, well, Parasite Eve is still a new series, Thomas, unless you just didn't like that game. It's locked from the other side, okay. Um, we need to go back now. It's actually not that hard once you get used to it, Safi. It's actually a really cool feature of this game. I enjoy it a lot. Oh shit! That was stupid. I should have known. Just keep running. I ran right the fuck into him. The controls fucked me up because the camera angle changed. Luckily, Billy has more HP. You should give it a shot if you can stand the graphics, Thomas, because Parasite Eve is one of my favorite games. But to answer your question, once I finish Parasite Eve 2, the plan right now is to um, play, start Parasite Eve 2, and then once I finish Final Fantasy X, I plan on starting Final Fantasy XIII 2. I feel like there's a new release game. Oh, I might start playing Twilight Princess HD as a side series or something once um, it comes out, just to, you know, be playing a brand new game for people to check into. 
All right, I really wish I hadn't taken those two hits from those zombies. Um, so I think with the conductor's key, wait, can Billy examine this? This body has bite marks all over it. Let's go in here. It's locked. Oh wait, does the conductor's key open this door? Yes, use the conductor's key. Don't seem to need it anymore. Well then let's throw it away. I've never even, I have never even heard of that, Chris. Alright, this should come in handy. There's a switch here. Uh, no, because I forget what that switch does. Oh wait, I think it lowers a ladder. Alright, we have a map now. There's the roof. Second floor. We've ex already explored over half the train. Hey, you should check it out, Safi. Thank you. We've got a uh, green herb and a red herb, even though I know Rebecca can't, or Billy can't mix herbs himself. Hi, Peanuts for Brains. I saw you on uh, Josh's stream the other, when I was watching uh, the archives of history. I don't know if you're a subscriber of mine or not, or if you just found me through him or what. Uh, what kind of game is riding, Chris? What's in here? Go to travel on the next world. That sounds like a kind of a... Oh, I'm, I'm out of item space, obviously. So, since Billy can't mix herbs, I'm actually going to leave this uh, red herb behind. By the way, you don't have to pick up items for the map to keep track of them. You just have to um, touch them. Is it like an action game or what? So there is a briefcase here, but I'm going to just leave it for now. Just so I know where it is. Because as you can see, we're already running low on item space. And looks like there's a note over here. Fighter shooter game. Oh, thanks, Josh. I think I'm going to... Um, I'll probably look up a video or something about Raiden, Chris, to see if it's something that we might be interested in. Is there any way for me to get it besides having to track down like an original PS1 game, version of the game? Note from Conductor. The key card for the driver's compartment is in my bag as always, but I need the other guy's key, too, to open the damn thing. So there's two keys that we need, apparently. But it looks like I've lost it somewhere. If it was a normal key, someone would be sure to turn it in, but this key is different. Oh, I've played Time Crisis. I think I used to have it on the Saturn. I'll look for it too, but if you happen to find it, please hand it in. Thanks in, in advance. Alrighty. Let's, I think we want to head up now. Why not? Oh, we're on some kind of bar. These bottles, yeah, the fact that it dumps a few comments at a time is really messing me up because every time I look over at the chat and there's a new message, I feel like I missed three of them somehow. Um, peanut your brains, I'm always up to watching a stream. Glad you can make it, man. We plan on going for at least a little while, uh, a while longer. Um, Mix herbs, that's going to add more strategy to the game. I'm liking it so far. Good, Safi. It really is fun. Josh, Peanut. Oh, are you and uh, Josh going to be Pokemon battling soon, Peanuts? These bottles must have fallen over when the emergency brake was activated. Well, I hope the wine is still in them, because that would be a waste otherwise. Yeah, t I think Time Crisis is the series where you're like actually in front of the arcade cabinet and you have the guns and you just bam, bam, bam. 
Today's special is Mediterranean style shrimp, Carpaccio roasted chicken. That sounds good. Join the party. I want to ride on one of these freaking luxury trains one day. That would be so cool. My favorite chapter in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door for anyone who's played that is the Excess Express, just because of the luxury train idea. Uh, uh, see, I do have my laptop up with a chat in front of me, but I don't look at it for the sake of um, when this video this video gets posted on my PS4 or my YouTube channel afterwards, and people will see the chat at the same time I see it. So if I reply to you guys before your comments appear on screen, people who watch this video later will have no idea what I'm responding to. Picture shows a group of people having a wild party, okay? True, Josh. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door is another game that's definitely in my top ten, and it's my favorite Mario RPG, even more than Legend of the Seven Stars, which was my favorite game as a kid forever. Fun in fact, Super Mario RPG was my first RPG I ever played. Ew, dim graphics. I wish I could join you guys. If I could stream Smash Brothers, I would definitely just pull you into it. Alrighty. I don't want to go through the door yet. Um... Uh, I want to leave some shit in here. Leave everything here, except for my gun. Because I'm gonna need the item space. And I can always come back to this room. That is a good idea though, Safi, for the chat. Like, if I miss something somehow, I can pull that up and see what you guys said. All right, what do we have here? There is an ice pick. So I will take that, because Rebecca's gonna need that. Welcome to the Ecliptic Salon. Please join us for a moment of relaxation. What are you gonna do in this salon? What's over here? They look like some kind of eggs puddle of slime is formed around them. Well, let's go swimming. <laughs> What's in here? <laughs> I wish I could get away with that, Thomas. First aid spray. Do I want to take this? I think so. Got more handgun bullets here. I'm not going to take it though, I'm just going to touch it so I'll know they're here later. And I'm also just going to touch these ink ribbons. Hunting gun. This is what I'm really interested in. I don't remember it being gold or bronze or whatever like that in the original game. Could be just misremembering though, or it could be different colors. So now we have this shotgun, which, as you can see, takes up two different slots, which is annoying. A shotgun used for hunting. There is a design carved on the forestock. This model can only be loaded with two shells at a time. It's annoying. So I guess we should try to keep track of how many bullets we fired so we can uh, reload in the menu and not have to be vulnerable while we're reloading. How cheap are we talking, Chris? Because I, I feel like that's still like over a thousand to build a good PC. Very funny, Thomas. I think we're going to play Uncharted first, unless you guys just really want us to play uh, Rocket League. Um... Uh, I used to be a lot more fit than I am now, actually, but uh, kind of fell off the wagon. Having a significant other can do that, too. And uh, it looks like I missed somebody's comment, so let me pull up the live stream here. Oh, you're in IT, Safi? What, um, what do you do in IT? So now I have some shotgun ammo as well. Is there anything in here? I could have sworn this door opened. Are there leeches in that trash can? Hmm. 
You might be right, Thomas. Six hundred euros. Does that translate to like four billion US dollars at this point? Sorry if I'm like kind of going slow for you guys. I'm trying to keep up with the chat and play at the same time. All right, did I miss anything? Okay, guys, we are about to face our first boss, so get ready for that. How do you auto turn? Oh wait, there isn't, there isn't a need for auto-turn because of the new control scheme. I just remembered. And I did not mean to go back through that door, actually. Here we go. Oh, I know what Goodwill is, Sappy. It's well known over here in the States. A troubleshooter, eh? So like a help desk type thing. I'm a software engineer, so I like program software and shit. Been working for an electric company lately. 650 US dollars. That might be something to start saving towards, or maybe go on one less vacation this year. I wouldn't mind if somebody gave me like a good guide on building a good uh, computer. I would definitely want something that could stream modern day games. Oh, okay. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to be a troubleshooter, I don't think. Onward. Oh, this goes okay. That is a problem. All right, I forget the strategy to this boss, but I do know that you want to use the hunting gun to shoot it in the face. Would parts from two to three years ago be able to run modern day games, Chris? Yeesh. I don't want to spend that much. So he's going to do a rush attack now. But I'm too good for that. I used the wrong button here. And I completely missed. You want to shoot it in the head. That was a terrible time to accidentally switch. And apparently Billy fired a tried to fire a bullet while I was out of control. Don't rush me. This should actually be easier now. I think I was shooting his claw though, unfortunately. You have a twin brother, Thomas? Congratulations. Ah, I'm getting nailed here. Billy has so much HP. Ooh, did I kill him? No, I did not. Hold on, let me reload Stinger. By the way, I think that's the official name of this boss, is the Stinger. Let me see what you guys are talking about here, because I missed a message, I think. I might message you later at Ultimate to figure out what kind of PC you ended up getting. Right, Thomas. I'll keep that in mind, Chris. Did I reload? Yes, I did. Okay. Oh, shit. You got me. Alright, music's still going. 
I have one bullet left. I might have to break out the handgun. I kind of botched that. You're really supposed to wait till he opens his face up and then shoot it. I had a friend try to sell me an Alienware laptop one time. I almost got it just so I could stream. I really need a laptop because I don't have room for a PC. Now what's this bitch doing? Ugh, damn. Don't rush me. Well, I wouldn't mind connecting it to my PC, Josh, but the fact is, my laptop is my PC, so my laptop isn't strong enough to connect the LGP to. The LGP can connect to your laptop and stream through that, I think. I don't think I'll ever be a PC gamer, Thomas, but I probably will connect. At least I could play PC games if I wanted to, and I could connect my consoles to it. LB by power. I'm gonna assume you meant Alienware or something. All right, this is bad because now we're back to our handgun. Of course, it nailed me in the face for no particular reason right there at the end. And I got a trophy. Just gonna stay well away from it while it does its dying. I'm gonna try to finish this train section before Corey gets home. All right, we're in caution now. Alrighty. I'm going to use this herb to hopefully heal. And you don't have to take it into your inventory to use it. I just did for some reason. So let's go ahead and leave some of this shit behind. We don't need the hunting rifle because we're out of bullets, obviously. And we don't need this first aid spray for the moment. I do want my handgun bullets back, though. Are they still in here? Okay, I know they're like right in front of me. Exactly, Josh. My Nathan. Alright, so, uh... Chris, yeah, Corey does live with me. He has his own apartment, but he never goes there because his, um... roommate's girlfriend is super annoying and they have a dog. And, I mean... There's no reason for us to be separate. The only reason he still has a lease there is because he told his roommate that he would live with him this, uh, year before he met me. So, it's not right, it wouldn't be right for him to back out at the last minute just because he met somebody. Oh boy, Thomas. Why can't you stick around, man? I know it's late for you. I'm really sorry that Corey couldn't be here earlier. It's about the same as any other Resident Evil game, Sappy. So we got this panel opener where the stinger burst in. Alright, back down the ladder. Thanks Chris, it's very kind of you to say. He does it for me, I guess. Although, he, um, we finished disc one of Final Fantasy VII. I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, there's a major story event that's very sad and traumatic first video game that made me cry. We finished, uh, we saw that scene the other day and he was barely affected. Kind of upset me. He told me that um, he doesn't get attached to video game characters. And now I'm sort of questioning if he's really the one for me. You gotta go to bed, Thomas. All right, what am I doing here? Alright, so now we got to get back to the kitchen so we can send the ice pick up to Rebecca because she can use that to um, escape that room she's in. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Damn it. Um, Thomas, I have not... I've heard a lot of things about Undertale, but I have no idea what it is other than, like, some kind of horror game, I think. I need to watch some trailers and shit, honestly. No, sir. Still appreciate it, Thomas. A protein shake. Do you, uh, work out, Thomas? Back in here now. So now we can... Send the ice pick up. Ooh, I'm already in caution again. Jeez. I'm glad your uh, nephew turned you on to something great, Chris. Corey says he can't wait to get home and see you guys. <laughs> I just read the end of your comment that got cut off, Chris. Secret to success on YouTube, be gay. <laughs> So now Rebecca has the ice pick, which she can use to get out of this room. I won't get into your personal life details, Chris. Not that I don't care, but this probably isn't the avenue. I will say that I've been a lot happier since I come out. Not that I was necessarily unhappy before, but I feel like a my, like my life is more complete, I guess. There are other secrets to success, Josh. You still have more subscribers than me. Thomas, I missed your message. I do still work out regularly. I've been having a really tough time. I've been trying to lose like a little bit of weight lately. Uh, I gained a lot of weight when I first started dating Corey, and I was already on a bad track before that. And I'm kind of plateaued right now. Just need to lose a little bit more, yo. use this ice pick. Oh, I remember what I was going to do with Billy. I was going to send a, send a uh, green herb up to her because she will not last long. Chris, I'll just say if you ever want to talk about it, uh, you can always send me a message. Keep getting square and triangle. Yay, thank you, Peanuts. Appreciate it. Oh, my back kind of hurts. My sitting position is like super uncomfortable. Why did I only take one green herb? I wonder if they're like communicating through the vent, or if they just know they're sending shit to each other. It's kind of funny when you think about it. Alright, give me the green herb. I don't think I'll need it before those two get back together, but just in case.
you uh, you're good at photo sh or artwork type stuff too, Thomas. I'd love to see some of the stuff you've done before. And I really appreciate that offer. I may take you up on that. Who knows? Did I use the ice pick yet? Anytime, Chris. I don't know how much help I can be, but I will certainly try. Oh shit, burning zombie. Luckily, very few enemies can move between rooms in this game. The mimicry Marcus do sometimes, but I think it's more scripted, more often scripted than not. And now we are back together. What's the button to make them follow you? Well, I switched characters. Wait, is it a shoulder button? Follow me. Okay. What's your brother's stream, Thomas, so I can check it out, just to see what kind of stuff you do? All right. Now that our heroes are back together, um, I'm going to switch to Billy. We need to get to the cargo car now, I think. Actually, though, is how are we doing ammo-wise? I probably need to give Rebecca some more, huh? Or not. Oh, Safi, don't go. No, seriously, thanks for joining and thank you so much for the subscription. Hopefully I'll see you at the next stream and around more often and such. Really appreciate uh, getting, getting to interact with you guys. Shit. Wait, where did our bullets go? Did I not get them? Ugh. Twitch.tv slash girl group. Slash GripX90. Alright, I've got to go back and get my bullets. It's just a fact of life. So, here we go again. Where, where do I need to go right now? I think if I... I think I'm going to have Rebecca stay here. Let's split up. Roger. I don't want her following me around and getting trapped in these zombie cars. He's a mo- oh no. Well, this turned out badly. Maybe if I go back out and go back in, I'll do a little better. I didn't expect there to be that many zombies in that damn car. <sighs> Get out of the way, Becker. <sighs> Jeez. Damn it. I'm gonna have to blast these guys out of the way. It'd be a tragedy if I died now, that's for damn sure. Billy, you couldn't have pushed those guys out in front? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh shit. This is not good. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get back to my bullets. I'm going to have to give this to Billy. Not good. Not good at all. All right, come with me, okay. Rebecca. 
So now we can use the panel opener that the Stinger brought in here. Um, to open this panel. Hold on, I think I missed something you guys said here. Well, to use this uh, streaming thing, if you, the only camera that the PS4 works with is an actual PS4 camera. So yeah, it is smaller. And it does, like, zoom in on your face. Oh, you guys. Now, I think there's going to be some puppies in here. Classic shooting off camera because I can't see any damn thing. All right. We want to touch this. Actually, I'm going to use it. Um, and then I'll also touch these shotgun shells so I can get them later. And then this is a gas tank, which I think I want to hold on to. I think you need gas to make Molotov cocktails, if I remember correctly. Oh, look, I'm completely out of items. This is turning out great. I'll give... I'll change my gun out with Rebecca. I love dogs, Thomas. I like larger dogs better than small dogs. Like, I don't really care for chihuahua-sized dogs or anything like that. They annoy me more often than not. In one of the doggy cages is a strange odor that lingers. I actually want this shiny thing here. This is a gold ring, which will come in handy before you know it. Ah, beautiful. All right, I think this is a puzzle here. It's the release lever. Pull it? Sure. Golden Retrievers are awesome. My kind of puppy. Take the damn thing, Becker. Oops. Now we got this hook shot. Much more realistic than the one in Zelda. Still not very realistic though. Hook shot operator's manual. Warning, this device should only be used when inspecting difficult to access car roofs or when connecting special trains. Return it to its proper location after use. Instructions, where to use. There is a ladder outside the small window by the first floor section door on the third carriage. Fire the device so that it looks, looks high onto the ladder. Two, using the winch to climb. After securing the hook, use the winch to lift yourself up. This grab the hook can only lift one person at a time. Be aware that the unit may be damaged if lifting more than 80 kgs. I don't think that ever matters. I think that's why it always tells you to use Rebecca, but I think there's no problems with using Billy. If we get a dog here, that's exactly how our relationship would be, Chris. I would be the one schooling it, and meanwhile, Corey would be like, Oh, you're so cute! Which is a major reason we don't have one right now. <laughs> Let's go! Okay. Back in here. This is the cargo car here. Who has bullets still? I think it's for Billy, isn't it? The door is now unlocked. 
So this leads back into the kitchen, I believe. Oh shit! Holy, holy, oh crap, oh crap! Uh, I knew that was coming. But for some reason, Billy's gun wasn't equipped. It's probably my fault. Oh, I guess you get a trophy for saving your ally. You're still not dead, huh? Die, bitch! I'm like out of bullets now. Anyway, you get the empty bottles here. All Corey talks about is how he wants a baby giraffe, a teacup pig, an actual sized pig, and a goat. He talks about that all the time. I always have to be mean and tell him he's dreaming. He gets the his work closes at nine, so it'll probably be more like nine thirty when he gets here, honestly. Let me see how long he thinks it's gonna take. We might still be on Peanuts. Um, I mean, we plan on streaming for at least a couple hours once Corey gets here. All right, so we get some empty bottles here. And then what you can do is, once you have empty bottles, it's combine them with your gas, and then you get Molotovs. And this is how you recycle. Another easy trophy. All right. Do I have to have... I need my, I need my handgun bullets back, honestly. Guys, I think I might be kind of fucked here, honestly. Unless... Thanks, Chris. You're awesome. See you soon, Peanuts. Hopefully. Thanks for inviting somebody, Josh. Appreciate it. Let's check the map. I wonder if I can go along the roof without passing through the bottom. That seems to be a negative. Unless... There doesn't seem to be any way for me to get back over there other than the first first way. Guys, I think I'm fucked. I might die. I need ammo. Oh, jeez. Does anybody see a way out of this? See, here's my problem. I somehow managed to, fr I could have sworn that I went out of my way to pick my handgun bullets back up where I left them in the room with the stinger. But apparently I didn't, and now they're on the other side of the train, and there are so many zombies in the cars between me that I can't get back to that room. And I don't think there's any other things for me to pick up anywhere. And there's no way for me to get there other than through the zombie-filled cars. Let's see, there's a red herb somewhere. Oh wait. Handgun bullets. Where is that at? Where am I at, first of all? <laughs> there. I have the knife? Would that work? <laughs> uh, both handgun bullets are on the wrong side of the train. 
Oh god, I'm, I'm fucked. Let's just be honest. Wait, I had the Molotovs. Maybe I can use that. Alright, Rebecca, give me the Molotovs, please. All the Molotovs. Now let's equip them. Here goes nothing. I really needed to save these Molotovs, but I'm between a rock and a hard place right now. Get this one down. Come on, Rebecca. Oh shit. Come on, Bex. Oh, jeez. Alright. Now, I believe there are some bullets up here. Um, Corey says that he's on his way, actually, so... Wait, how did this get blocked up? Puddle of slime. Wait, or was it always blocked up? Apparently my friend Lauren is watching the stream. Hi Lauren, hope you're enjoying. Wish you could have watched longer, but alas. Where are my other bullets? They're both still not directly accessible to me, huh? Alright, let's go back down. Thanks, Ultimate. Really means a lot to me. Oh, jeez. Come on, Rebecca. Let's hopefully she made it. <laughs> oh, she did. Good job, Bex. I'm tempted to just save now, honestly, but I think I can make it. Hey, Lauren. Yeah, Lauren's a good friend. I thought that she and Logan were going to come over tonight uh, to be in the stream with us. Her, Logan, her boyfriend. But um, apparently they're going downtown. Which, why they would choose downtown over me, I don't understand, but... Ah, oh, you're back, Venetius. I don't get scared that easily. I'm usually the one that has to, like, hold Corey while he's cowering away from the horror movies. Do I, should I bring Becca with me? First of all, let's make Rebecca stay here. It should be safe. Don't be that way, Ultimate. Oh, I love the graphics. Okay. Back to safety somehow. Take these bullets. Did I just say no last time or, so, or something? I feel like I missed something you guys said. Did I just take the herb instead of the bullets? I think so. Alright, I need to save... I think I'm going to leave the herb here and take the first aid spray to give to Rebecca because she obviously needs it badly. Uh, yes, I love horror movies, Thomas. That's my favorite genre by far, even though most of them are terrible. Alright, there... We decided that there were bullets in one of these rooms, right? Yes. 
Somehow I managed to leave handgun bullets in this room. Like an idiot. Uh, Corey should be here any minute, by the way. Is anyone else having any graphical fidelity problems? Like, uh... What resolution it is? Corey and I just watched, um... Grave Encounters 2 last night, and then a few nights before that we watched, uh, The Babadook. Um, the Babadook was okay, Grave Encounters 2 was okay. Corey had to cover his eyes a few times during Grave Encounters 2 even though he had seen it before. You heard my neighbor's door. The walls here are like paper thin. Let's give some of this over to Rebecca, I guess. Forty-five bullets should be good. Give her the first aid spray to heal. Bye bye, Duke. All righty. So, the boy? I haven't heard of that yet, Chris. Oh, the boy in the forest. I haven't heard of it. All right, we need to go back now to the car with the zombie since we could probably take it out now. Oh, my back. <laughs> Artsy fartsy, I know what you mean. All right, first of all, let's equip the handgun. Hopefully the Molotov won't get too much in the way. Hopefully, there's still only that single zombie here. Remember when there was only one zombie in here? Is there something in particular you want us to play, Venetius? Because I think the plan, I'm, I'm kind of hoping to get to a certain point in this game before I switch. I want to finish this range section. I may not though, depending on how long it takes Corey. But um, we're probably going to switch to Uncharted when he first gets here. And what the fuck happened to Rebecca? I thought she was following me. But maybe not. Hopefully there weren't any more zombies in that room where Billy might be fucked. And together again. Oh, I'd love to be stacked like Billy. Okay, so this is the window that we need to use the hook shot to get out of. Who do I want to send, though? Might as well give it to... Rebecca. You want the character that has the hookshot to have the ring. Is she not with me right now? 
This way. Roger. Thomas knows me a little too well. It has been kind of sad, though, that Corey hasn't been around today. I mean, especially after we both thought we were going to get to stream with you guys and have some fun and shit. Exchange. There we go. I think that should be good for Rebecca. Let's try it. If I remember correctly, it can be kind of finicky to get the hook shot to work like you want it to, though. What do you mean I don't need to use this now? This is clearly the window. I think. Through the window you see a broken ladder. It is of so much use. There we go. Aw, oh, Thomas. That's sweet, dude. Yeah, I may do more of the streaming if you, I mean, if it seems like you guys really like it and it lets me get through some other games faster because I know it can be, things can get stale when I have like three of the same series game going for like over a year. Whatever, Corey is going to ignore me for you guys because he is a camera hog. I forgot what I was trying to do, honestly, though. Time to crawl along the roof again. I could spoil you on what happened with that, Thomas. Am I supposed to go down here? I thought I was. It looks like there's a passenger cabin below the crack. Jump down through the crack. Um. I think that's what we want to do. Oh shit! I totally forgot that there was a zombie in here. Who we will quickly take out. in here in case we needed it. What else can we be found? The room is furnished with a single bed. It's soaked from the rain. Now what have I done? Did I accidentally go out the door? Apparently, the leeches are hatching, which is lovely. Take this jewelry box. And inside our jewelry box is... Yes, open it. No, I'm going to keep it unopened. A silver ring. So now we have two rings. So if we can just... Ah, oh, I meant to ask Safi if what she thought of sending it to she. Uh, Resident Evil Zero. I thought you could combine these. Maybe it's something else that you combine them with. I feel like I missed... I know you just complimented me, but I feel like I've missed something. Only if I can have Nathan Drake's hair uh, when we're done streaming. Okay. I meant to leave the hookshot in there. 
So, I think I will. You can see there's leeches in there. One jumped on my leg. Leave the hook shut behind. Is this your bid to steal Cory from me, Ultimate? Because I'm not sure how I feel about that. Where am I? Okay. Is this train car number two? I think this is the wrong way. I'm so confused right now on my map here. Yeah, this is definitely the uh, wrong room. I need to go the other way. Have fun, Billy. Ew, that was a gross painting. Did you guys see that? Now where am I? Are you talking about Agent Core? I think he is actually doing his own stream right now, so... I think I need to go into... this other room. Oh shit! Get off me, leeches! Speaking of bathroom, I'm parched. I need to drink some more water. Am I in the right area now? I think I want to go down here. Because I think this is the room with the briefcase in it. Josh is our moderator now. Someone I can trust. Luckily, I have some water right here. Hard to believe I've been playing this for two hours now. So what you want to do here is combine your gold ring and your silver ring with the briefcase. Venetius, I would absolutely love that. That would be so awesome. And you can open the briefcase. And we get this blue key card. we can use to unlock the door. Some door somewhere. Probably that door next to the uh, dead body in that one car where we met Billy. Alright, now that we've got that, we can head out here. So now I'm going, Rebecca is in the right spot because the key card opens this door here. So I'm going to switch to Billy and bring him out. <laughs> Oh, let me just... How's this handcuff doing? <laughs> oh, Billy never fails to amuse me when I switch back to him. It kind of reminds me... Whenever you... In Grand Theft Auto V, when you switch back to, like, Trevor and he's in a tutu at a strip club or something. Yeah, I am surprised Corey's not here yet, honestly. I thought he would have been back, been back by now. All right, Rebecca and Billy reunited. You guys, I just heard Corey's car or Are you done streaming, Luke?
I think there's a way to look at both menus at the same time here. Looks like bullets are pretty even right now. I'll keep control of Billy. I'm glad you made it back, Luke. Hey, hey you made it. This yes. Roger. They've been uh, waiting for you eagerly. <laughs> well, I'm here then. Oh boy. Come here. Mm. Mm. Now again. Yeah, they've been waiting. <laughs> I've kind of, I'm here now. I kind of feel like you're the new star of the channel. <laughs> you should rename it to the Cory Corner. Welcome to the Cory Corner. <laughs> I'll be back in just a minute. <sighs> Okay. Alright. I forgot what I was doing. I think we need to go this way, but... About goddamn time, Corey. Yeah. Sorry, Chris. H hated to keep you waiting. It's not my fault, though. <laughs> you could have stayed. Because <laughs> no. the roads were so bad. I got killed. Looks like the door will open if we have the right card, so... Won't be needing the card anymore, so we can throw it away. Are you still following me, Rebecca? Let's split up. Okay. Apparently, she this was. Way. Okay. Let's go this way. This is Delta Team. This is Delta Team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Understood. This does not. Wesker. How was the T virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes to... Huh? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Ew. I'm sure everything's flying out there. Alright, so I think we need to just run past these guys as quickly as possible before the leeches get us. And now we're in the uh, conductor's car. Or the engine car, I guess. We've got the brake operation manual. So now we've got to use the brakes. Using the brake control, the following three steps are necessary to open the brakes. Operate. Step one, activating the controls. Brake controls are located in the following locations. First car, the driver's compartment, and the rear deck of the fifth car. So on opposite ends of the train, because that makes so much sense. I don't know if it's like that in real life or not. Uh, rear deck of the fifth car. To activate the system, you must insert the magnetic card into the device in the fifth car. This will supply powers to both sets of controls. Because that seems... Because you really want all these fail safes for the brakes. Uh, step two, enter the rear deck code. Enter the code for the rear deck unit to release the lock. After this, the driver's compartment code can be entered. Enter driver's compartment code. Enter the code for the driver's compartment unit to remove the lock upon completion of these three steps and manual brakes can be used. So you have to have one character at the front, one character at the back, and you have to have the codes for both somehow. Hey, dude. Did I miss Corey's grand entrance? <laughs> yes. Yes, you did. Sorry. He's been here all night, and he stepped away for like one minute. Oh, bless his heart. Poor guy. Sorry. Why don't you sit down, baby? I can adjust the camera. Uh, I'm gonna. While you do that, I'm gonna pour shots, drinks, so I can eat my McDonald's. Oh boy. Okay. Is this yours? Uh, I haven't drank anything, so. What the hell's wrong with you? You told me not to. I told you have some. Well, I figured I'd just wait. We need moonshine. 
Well, you could have got some. Well, I spent enough money at the damn liquor store without buying moonshine. True. Oh, my hair. All right. Let's try to do this. So we have three minutes and 30 seconds to do this. Do one of you guys of a Wii U, Venetius? Um, I don't have Splatoon. I do have Mario Kart, Smash Bros, uh, Mario Maker. We do have a Mario Maker series that we've done, um, Venetius. So feel free to send us your levels. I think we should get Splatoon. You think so? Yeah. I'm worried that I would play like three matches and be done with it because I know I won't be any good at it. Well, that would be a good one to live stream. True. I do like Splatoon. I mean, I like the idea of Splatoon anyway. Cool Hand Wiz has never had moonshine. Dear God, come to Tennessee. I think he lives real, like two hours away from Canada. I forget, oh which, God. I forget which state, but Nathan Drake's hair will get revealed. Oh, as usual. Well, Cool Hand Wiz needs to come to Gatlinburg so we can show him around. Yeah. We Three have, moonshine pasties. We have no, all kinds of moonshine around here. Yes. Uh, in Gatlinburg, you can go to like any moonshine store and they will just let you have free samples as many as you want. And get drunk. We have gotten buzzed, pretty buzzed, just off moonshine tastings. Wisconsin. I almost said that, but I was afraid I would get it wrong. All right, anyway. So we have to stay behind now, and I think that I'm going to send um, Billy to the back just because he's stronger. Um, but if you send Rebecca to the back, you get an extra scene, so now I'm not so sure. I think I will... Send Rebecca. Chris is in Ireland. Thomas says Moonshine is not available in Denmark. Josh Call says he wants to play Splatoon with us. Who's from Ireland? Chris Daly. Daly? Uh, Daly? That Irish accent. Oh. Uh, Chris, you're not allowed to talk to Corey <laughs> ever, so. Uh. Oh, that Irish accent. Anyway, we'll we'll make Billy stay here so we can see that extra scene. I'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. You stay here and apply the brake when ready. Okay. Rebecca. Huh? Don't screw up, okay? I won't. All right, guys. So this next section is time. So I, I may not have time to uh, necessarily pay super close attention to your comments. So I'm sorry if I missed something. Well, have you started it yet? Oh, you have. Take the damn bullets, Rebecca. Did you have Taco Bell today? Yeah. Did you send me a Mountain Dew? Yeah. You're the best, sweet. You're welcome. All right, let's exchange bullets. I want Rebecca to have all the bullets. And she'll need the key card as well. And I think there's more handgun bullets in here somewhere. Oh wait, I see them. There they are. Okay, I got the magnetic card. I got both sets of handgun bullets. So let's start making our way back. All right, so those SWAT uh, guys We'll come back to life now, but it's better if you just run straight past them. You need to drink that real quick. What is it? Uh, it's your drink, but I, I need that to make mine. So I didn't want to pour it down the drain. <laughs> Thank you, baby. It's strong? <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Sorry. Oh, there's a zombie in here now, just randomly. I really should have saved before I went and did this part, since it is time. See, to us, it doesn't... I know Corey has a strong southern accent. But apparently, according to you guys, mine is too, so... Oh, shit. I should have brought that Molotov. Oh, shit. Run! Ah, oh, no, 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 no! That's not good. Oh, this is terrible. I know, it's awful. <laughs> I just got bitten twice. Well, you're about to get bitten by pure green alcohol. Where's
We're from Tennessee. We're the land of moonshine. That's her uh, teammate that we saw die earlier. Don't want to have to reload in the middle of that. I'm kind of expecting to get a trophy for doing this. Or not. I really thought I'd get a trophy for that. Let's ignore that zombie. <laughs> I think everybody hates the accent of people from wherever they're from. I think I could just go out this way now. By the way, you don't have to worry about all the items that were on the train before it uh, crashes because they will be relocated elsewhere. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something though? Can I just pause it? Yes, I can pause it. Presents. He brought me a shot, folks. Yes. Two. Two, you being home, and finally, we can, uh, you being back in the stream. Chris, because Irish is awesome. All right. Being home into a live stream. Thank you, Ultimate. Alright. Alright. So we're at the uh, back of the train now. So what we have to do is. With your drink, be really careful because it is filled to the brim. I need a straw. <laughs> and you kind of do. That's really offensive, Chris. Portuguese sound like a Google translation robot with missing words that are key to make it sound right. There's a hand-operated brake here. You'll need a magnetic card to operate it. So you use the card here. I'm just kidding, Spoopy. Don't dish it out if you can't take it. <laughs> I still like you, Spookinator. You can use this to operate the brake. Alright, so I need to what? Put in 67? Hold on, I forget how this works. same deal. I just do eight, nine times, and then nine. Of course, you can't <laughs> see your sum this time.
and the train crashes despite our best efforts to break. I need to get to a typewriter so like, we can switch games. Rebecca? 20 minutes, Thomas, why 20 minutes? I hear. It's like 3 a.m. for him. Hey, he probably he doesn't work. Train. He does. Yes, we managed. He does work? Yep. We have to find a way out. Oh, I'm sorry. Venetius, we met through Tinder. So we've completed the first area, the train. By the way, we apparently we are going to have a couple friends come over. Logan and Lauren, their boyfriend girlfriend. I feel like I missed something in the chat. He's a prick. Who's a prick? Let's see. Peanuts for Brains is back. He's back. Thank you for being coming back, Peanuts. Uh, oh, you guys are talking about Jack Septic Guy. It's funny because I just watched a video from him for the first time earlier this week. And I did not enjoy it. Like, I don't understand. I lost faith in the Let's Play community when I watched his videos. He has, like, millions of subscribers. And I watched one of his videos, and it was just obnoxious. <laughs> You'd have to see one, but I, I got, like, two minutes into it. Uh... Ah, uh, so... The, Ir the Irish people hate uh, Jack Septic Eye, huh? It was lucky because I had just. I, ha I wasn't even out of the closet yet when I swiped right on him. And. Um, like, I had been pursuing guys on Tinder for like two or three days at that point. So it's like, as soon as I was ready to start dating guys, it's like I met him immediately. I'm just the lucky winner. So. Peanuts, I can only play PS4 games, unfortunately. It's all about the Smash. Right. Yeah, I guess Jacksepticeye gives no fucks ultimate. Hey, you're cheating. What? You're reading the chat on there. I'm delayed. Well, <laughs> what I was just responded to is on the screen right now. Alright, so, I forget what I'm supposed to do here. I think I want to kill all these zombies. Kill everything. Yeah, basically. Oh, I need more bullets, apparently. Uh, there better be no enemies on this damn burger, or else I'm, I'm raised holy hell. Oh, yeah? I think we're good. Because I would hate to have to drive back to McDonald's and... Walk up in there and show them how to use bird. Why can I not exchange bullets right now? It says we're on team mode. But yeah, uh, he did really seem like an Irish PewDiePie, except for even PewDiePie is less loud and obnoxious than he is. <laughs> Sarah sent us some chat. She said, I think this was made for you, Coco. You can't really read it. That says, find someone who considers this a perfect date. Two wine glasses and two PS4 controllers. That is why we were made for each other. <laughs> well, my perfect date includes something after that. <laughs> if you have four controllers, you should play Rocket League 2v2 with Lauren and her boyfriend. Logan, whose name escapes me. I only have two controllers, unfortunately. If we need to get more, if Logan had a PS4, damn it. I know, right? He has a fucking Xbox One, I think. If Lauren was a good girlfriend, he would have bought Lo She would have bought Logan a PS4 for yep. Christmas, like a certain somebody did. I'm guessing you're a fan of Jack Septicai Ultimate. Oh, and cool hand, it's two double cheeseburgers and fries. I'm a fat kid at heart. I swear to God. We were just talking about fitness earlier. <laughs> I don't believe in it. <laughs> I 
have metabolism. That's my fitness. Ah, oh, shit. Billy, I need you to take some bullets, bro. I really wish we had something like this so we could live stream like Smash Bros. Do you know how awesome it would be to live stream Smash Bros? What do you mean we had something like this? Like a live stream. We do have a live stream. On we? Oh no. That's what I was oh, saying. Oh, I thought you said when you said we, I thought oh, you meant no, like we like the console. Gotcha. Alright. Rebecca needs to be healed. Again. Little bitch. Let's use this green herb, I guess. Chris lost his, now I'm forced to die for a winning in Spain. Tagline for Corey's corner of metabolism is my fitness. That is so true. He eats like a like a pig and he way sk he's skinnier than I am. <laughs> and I like work out all the time and I like my diet consists of chicken, rice, and broccoli. <laughs> my diet Taco Bell and McDonald's. <laughs> Metabolism is the best fitness, so I mean, think about it. I eat what I want when I want. And I've not gained weight. I've been my same weight for like two years now. Well, if I ate like you did, I would be like 250 pounds at least. I do eat a lot, guys. He's my witness. I should have combined that red and green herb. All right, is there any handgun bullets around here? Oh, like for instance, two weeks ago, while I was at work, I ate half a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts during my shift. I didn't, I didn't gain any weight off that. Which I'm still upset about. It's not my fault. You're not allowed to be mad at me over that. We're in the same bus, Chris. I have to like, do everything in my power to keep from gaining weight. So, don't feel bad, bro. What's this? Increments. No, he ain't increments. Die. Woo! It's a strong bait. Oh, just a little bit. Oh. I do need this hook shot. It won't be this rough in 30 minutes or so, but. Woo! Once you get used to it. Yeah, or once I get a little buzzed. Alright, I got hookshot. Probably take these ink ribbons. This is the annoying part of the item management system, is that you have to, I haven't told you this, but basically um, there are no item boxes in this game, like there was for Resident Evil 1, mm -hmm. but instead you can leave items anywhere you want to. Nice. And your map keeps track of uh, where you've left your items. And even if you don't pick an item up, like say you find it and you want to be able to know where it is later, you can just touch it without picking it up and your map keeps track of it for you. Oh, nice. But once you like get to a point where you want to like transport items, then it gets annoying. I wish I could metabolize ultimate. Thomas, I'm always in a state of bulking. Always. I think it's better to be too skinny and have a hard time putting on muscle than to be too fat and have a hard time losing fat. What do you think? As long as I can eat my McDonald's, I don't care. Typical Corey. <laughs> I know what you mean, Thomas. I used to eat five meals every day. Now, oh. now I eat like one feast every day and a couple small meals. Five meals a day, that's just heaven. He means like healthy food though. Oh, no. Screw that. Five trips to Taco Bell. It happens, Chris. Speaking of, you know, that's funny. Chris, speaking of that, I used to smoke. And everybody always told me when I quit, I would put on 10, 15 pounds. I quit, what was it? Right after Thanksgiving, honey? Somewhere around then. It's like right after Thanksgiving, I quit smoking. I've still not gained weight. Does it come later? Or is it like an immediate thing because 
you're fighting the nicotine addiction so you eat. Because I do eat more now that I've stopped smoking, but I've not put on weight. I'm guessing you're skinny peanuts. I like Venetia's. Must inhale McDonald's. Yes. Venetia said that he or she, probably a he, honestly, is going to do some fan art for us. Really? Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to that. Ooh, I like that idea. I thought it'd be exciting to, I'd, I'd be exciting the day I got my first fan art. Huh. And I've already That'd had, be awesome. I've already had two people say they would do it tonight. We'll make you a deal. If you send us fan art, this wall behind us, we'll hang it on it. Lauren didn't give a time, but she said we'll be over soon. Research center? So, a couple hours. Probably, knowing them too. They'll be over around midnight. Ooh, man, I made that stout. Dear God. The first general manager, Dr. James Marcus. Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm, what about the mayor? I'm unfamiliar with Attention. him. Attention, this is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> Who are you? It was I who scattered the T-Virus in the mansion. Needless to say, I contaminated the train to... What? Revenge. Or ate almost all my thoughts. On Umbrella. That's sad. Fairy, don't feel bad. I just... I just got here myself, like, what, 30 minutes ago? My own boyfriend's channel, and I just got here 30 minutes ago. Don't feel bad. Dr. Marcus? Peanuts did fan art for Josh. <laughs> Ten years ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> Ooh, intrigue. I guess we'll have to stream more Resident Evil Zero later. Or maybe we'll... I'll make it a side series or something. I'm still here. Um, I have another burger. See what I mean? <laughs> Fairy, I'm glad you made it. Peanut, any fan art is welcome. Much appreciated. Uh, Chris, I can't promise I'll get to you immediately, but I will gladly respond as quickly as possible. Uh, whoever said my Twitter or whatever, please follow me on Twitter if you guys haven't already. I tr I've been trying to tweet more lately, and that's a good way to stay in touch with me. Ignore any tweets about me. They're not true. <laughs> Alrighty. There should be a typewriter in here for me to say that, and then we could switch games. But I eat my burger. This is important. I'm not eight today. The reason I got Taco Bell is because I was running behind. It took me forever to get to GameStop and back. Oh, at the mall? Yeah. Well, no, I went to the GameStop in North Knox because they had this pre-owned, so it was about ten dollars cheaper. Dear God, you went all the way to North Knox? Yeah, but then, like, when I took the GPS back here, um. It freaking took me through like the neighborhoods. Oh God! And a couple of the roads. You went through halls. I don't know. It was like North Knoxville. You went through halls. It was like halls. subdivisions. Yeah, and they the snows the roads were all nice, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. There was a couple. I slid once, and then I was going up this one road, and there was a van that was like had its brakes on, it was sliding down the hill. Oh my God! And it kept trying to reverse up the hill, and it was like blocking my way because it was like a one lane road. Oh. And I just like reversed and turned around and went a different way. I hope that band's okay. I was like, shit, is there anything I can do to help them? <laughs> Corey should do a McDonald's ASMR eating shrimp. What's an ASMR eating shrimp? 
I do not know. What's an ASMR stream? Because, I, Thomas, I love the idea of an eating stream. I really do. Hi, Quentin. Oh, bye, Josh. Josh. Come back. Thanks for joining. Thanks for hanging out all day for when you could. I'll try to tune into one of your streams sometimes. Uh, Peanuts, I can switch to... I think we're going to switch to Uncharted, but if you would rather us switch to... If you guys would rather us do Rocket League or um, Resident Evil 1 or Final Fantasy 7 or Final Fantasy... No, we're not doing Final Fantasy 10. Um, I was going to say, I've already done that game. Yeah. Uh, I love that game, man. Let's see how Gone Home is doing. I know you guys can't see us right now. Why don't you guys tell us what you want us to switch to? I've been trying to get them to tell me what game, and they've been... Well, they'll listen to me. There's 30 minutes left before Gone Home is downloaded, and who knows how long it's going to take to install. Alright guys, you just tell us what you want us to play. We're here for you. Play what you want to play. So that I think, doesn't help, Chris. I guess we'll play Uncharted. Huh. Unless you was there something in particular you wanted to play, babe? Not in particular, no. Wait, Splatoon's a Nintendo game, isn't it? Yep. Alright, never mind. Splatoon Splatoon. We shouldn't get that game. Well. We can't stream it. Exactly. You leaving us, Peanuts? Peanuts, don't do this to us. Alright, let's save. Actually, hold on. We are very humble people, we don't care. This is Resident Evil Zero, Luke. Luke, you're being quiet, I almost forgot you were here. Father. I'm sure he's heard that 20 gajillion times. GTA 5. Ah, L1. I just figured out how to switch. See, all we need is the handgun and handgun bullets. Peanuts, if we could stream the Wii U, we would play Smash Bros. in a heartbeat. Yeah, especially since we got company coming over in a minute. Who, and Logan loves playing Smash. Mm -hmm. If the stream ends while they're here, we should play Smash. I mean, theoretically, we could end at any time. I don't want to leave them hanging. Yeah. You remember Rebecca from Resident Evil 1, don't you? Yes. She was, in, she was Chris's partner. Uh huh. Or Chris's side character or whatever. Yeah. This is a prequel for Resident Evil 1. It takes place like the day before. I'm so sorry, Luke. I know you probably hear that like literally every other day. So, you want to play Uncharted, Big? Sure. Alright, we're going to switch to Uncharted. Um, I'm almost done with my herd, so... You guys know the drill? We... Oh, know, yeah, they have to go and switch, too, don't they? Yeah, but this is the fourth time I've switched games on, <laughs> so... He's making y'all work for it tonight. So, anyway, um, what we have to do for those who weren't here before, um, when I end, when I switch games, it automatically ends the stream. So, just as soon as this ends, go onto my channel page and refresh until the video shows up. I'm going to get it up and going as fast as I can. Uh, Ultimate will probably beat us there. Because he's all about Nathan Drake's hair. <laughs> See you guys there. Thomas, you watch that smear campaign you're trying to spread. Ugh. Look, babe, I ripped these jeans again today. Well, you can't really tell. They were already ripped. I think I showed it to him already, kind of. Yeah, you can't really tell. Alright, guys, stand by. Good, they won't get to see me shove this last bite of burger in my face. <laughs> oh, they've seen enough. <laughs> Shut up.